Hi guys, True Souls Emporium here again. Now, this little one here, another one of the crystals that aren't crystals section. So this is what, the third part of that now? Um, very strange looking stone, very, very rough, uh, almost feels like pumice kind of uh, feel to it. But at the same time, incredibly tactile. I just want to sit there and play with it and hold it. Now, this is called, um, in the UK, we call it goddess stone. The Algonquin tribe of northern Quebec call them fairy stones. And it is also a menelite opal. Okay, M-E-N-I-L-I-T-E, -I, -E, I think. <laughs> I might be wrong there. Um, they generally form over small pebbles and, and fossils, and you, you can find them all over the place. Um, they can be found in ancient glacier de deposits within Canada, but they're also found in uh, lots of different places, uh, Scandinavia, Greenland, Britain, Morocco, places like that. Um, they've been seen as good luck. Uh, they are used for protection uh, amongst numerous and diverse groups of people because these things literally are all over the place. Um, it was common to gift these to somebody who was having bad luck um, to help protect them from whatever spell had been cast against them. And some families actually hid it under their child's bed in the hopes of preventing nightmares. So like the, um, uh, the, the phase that all kids go through where they have the night terrors, they, it was supposed to help with that. Um, it, it's a random mineral more really than a, than a crystal, but it is used within crystal healing. Um, and it helps strengthen your connection to Mother Earth and open your root chakra, uh, which a lot of people, especially if they've been in um, domestic abuse situations, sorry, trigger warning, should have said, um, it can help calm your fight and flight response and help you choose the right path, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of these are viewed as amulets, which have been imbued by the magical energy, which is why they're called goddess or fairy stones. So... It's, it's one of those, you need to sit there and work with this, really. It, you need to sit there and spend at least a week working with this stone. Uh, they, most of them are sort of a clay white colour, but you can get greys and browns in them as well. Again, it depends on the minerals that are around when the, when the deposits are forming. So very, very, very tactile. Um, do make sure you're getting this one from a reputable dealer, because as you can see, these are very, very, very easy to fake. Uh, yeah, you could just get a lump of clay and off you go. <laughs> yeah. um, using using it in meditation, focus all of your energy into one particular part and the stone will help you ground. So again, yeah, very, very helpful and useful little stone. All right. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye.